In the realm of political and social discourse, the weight of leadership's responsibility, the delicate threat of public trust, and the profound psychological toll of social unrest cannot be understated. For a society that cherishes strong, resolute leadership and fears the long lasting scars that disorder can leave on their communities, the actions of leaders are scrutinized with intense emotion. The criticism aimed at Tim Walls isn't just about policy. It's about the deep sense of betrayal felt by those who believe their leaders failed them in their darkest hour. This sentiment echoes through every conversation about justice, responsibility, and the fragile stability of our society. Police officers testified at the Minnesota Senate today. The officers are all board members for the Minneapolis Police Federation. And as Esme Murphy reports, they offered up a scathing critique of government and police leaders during the riots following George Floyd's death. It's not what we stand for. Her voice shaking, Minneapolis Police Sergeant Anna Hedberg says during the riots, officers were abandoned by state, city, and department leaders. To watch them go through that was so heartbreaking. To know that they could have died because we were not allowed to respond the way that we have been trained to respond. During the riots, the officers were told they could not wear protective frog suits, but were still hit and injured with bottles, cement, and more. Sergeant Hedberg blames state, city, and department leaders for the abandonment of the third precinct. I heard the governor say, give it up. It wasn't directly to me, it was through a, through a phone call. No, the governor says, give up the precinct. I mean, that's... That's demoralizing for this whole state. And the three described a demoralized police force with dozens of officers planning to retire or quit. I believe I speak for every Minneapolis cop when I tell you that I've never been more publicly humiliated. They also described a city out of control. The crime is rampant in Minneapolis. The George Floyd riots marked a pivotal moment where the failure of leadership, particularly by Governor Tim Walls, became a glaring focal point. The decision to abandon the 3rd Police Precinct, along with the broader mismanagement of the riots, left the people of Minneapolis feeling utterly forsaken. For many, the image of their city burning and the sense of abandonment by those sworn to protect them cut deeply, resonating with conservative values of law, order, and accountability. The clamor for justice, even to the extent of calling for Waltz's imprisonment, stems from a place of raw anger and profound disappointment a response to what many see as a grave dereliction of duty at a time when unwavering leadership was needed most. 